Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a quick tip. Guys, we're going to revisit something I talk about a lot, but I'm telling you that in terms of analyzing a game and reacting to mid to late game, and this usually happens probably mid game in, in most games, where you've won a flank or potentially the other flank has lost, and you have to make a decision on what you're going to do. And in general, the vast majority of average players, when they win a flank, are going to continue to push that flank because they've found success on that flank and they're going to feel like they can put pressure on the cap or get in behind the enemy or whatever the case may be. Take a look at the mini-map down here, though. You'll see that we've had a tough fight up here. We have an M6, A2, E1, myself, a Su-100M1, and an AC-48. And we're all a bit beat up, but we've won this flank up here. There's a KV-2 down here in the town and then you can see that there's a Saint Mill camping. There's still a G-Sword, a bunch of guys down here. This other flank hasn't won. We have a Scorpion G down at the bottom of the city and let's see how this plays out. So at this point, choose your own adventure. All right. See what I'm doing. I'm already dealing with this KV-2. All right, let's come in here. We'll kill him. Great. Taking a look at this guy. I'll put a shot on him. Right, so I've already switched to the middle flank, right? I've come over to support the middle. I'm not going to go and push into the Santa Mill with a one shot, although I'm about a two shot. But look at the M6 A A2E1, the AC. Notice that the Su-100, who's also a pretty good player and does a good job, we actually lose this match, but he's one of the last two alive along with me. And I just want you to watch as the two goofballs push in to the campers. Here comes the arty. Obviously he's seen. There's a Saint Emil bushed up. Boom. Su-130 kills him. Oh, that's right. There's a Su-130 unaccounted for. Well, he happens to be right here in a very typical spot on these bushes and back edge. We find him a little later and beat him up, but I eat one shot from him before we do that. We end up losing this game. So really that whole push, and I believe the AC actually dies too. Nope, he fell back. Good on him. So he's going to come back this way. So we lose our Tier 8 Heavy, who did a pretty decent job in the brawl, but just made a really boneheaded decision to keep on pushing. There's zero, and I mean zero, reason in a match like this, if you look at the minimap, to keep pushing this west side over here with all of the sniperinos they had. A Sioux, a Saint Emil, two artillery, a Jackson. T-78 hasn't even been spotted yet. That little mark down there is the T-69. Did you know they had reverted the names to the other side? I don't... Why did they do that? There were some complaints about it because it would they would kind of get... cover up other names. I don't know. Absolute idiotic. I, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. That's a whole other subject. Got another example. All right, quickly. Here's another good example right here. We're on El Halouf, which is infamous for this kind of thing. We've come to the heavy brawl and we've, I, we've won-ish, right? We've pushed them back, but the problem is they've got a Scorpion G. They still have several tanks down here, and we have guys trying to poke corners. And meanwhile, if you look back at the cap, and I'm actually late in reacting to this, the Iron an Iron Army, a Mod 1, a Burr, and an EBR 75 FL10 against an RHM, right? So there's just no reason for us to continue to push. I actually came back around this way and got a shot into the Iron Army. So I did start moving this way quite a while ago. And I got the shot on him. And now I finally went dark long enough that I think I can get up and around and head off this way. But just watch as we push in here, the guys that continue to try to push into and to just start dying, right? I'm going to come back here and attempt to do something with this. KPZ's moving around. I'm like, ah, great. That's not good. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't have the alpha you might like on a TD because I put a shot on him, but it doesn't kill him. I leave him 50. I needed a high roll to make that happen. I want to say it's a 400 alpha gun. That's true. And unfortunately, I get a slightly low roll. He hits me. And meanwhile, you'll notice that that whole thing, that whole pushback there got shredded and beat up even worse by the sniper Reno sitting back there. So if you want to improve your win rate immediately, learn how to analyze the mid game better in terms of when you need to stop pushing a flank. And generally, that's any time the other flank's in trouble, to be quite honest. 
you there's almost not a tank too slow if you if you feel like your tanks too slow what it means is you made your decision too late more than likely all right yeah I got it the t95 and some of the things okay you may have to die in place because you may not be able to disengage all that means to me though is you need to back up your decision making even more and you should have been gone maybe a little bit sooner okay but it's not an absolute however it is a huge part of why people lose games even when they really just crush a flank they walk into a bunch of campers and bushed up guys and try to force positions that really if they'd have just either held or turned around and moved back the other thing that it does when you go to another another flank after you've won yours is it consolidates your power on the other flank brings more guns to the other flank helps them win that flank also creates better crossfire opportunities because anybody back here at this cap has a hard time influencing any kind of battle over here on the west so if all these tanks had pulled back and we'd have put a defensive more of a defensive position back by cap we could have defeated the guys pushing cap and had a better chance to take on the guys who might be pushing us because guess what happened their cap defenders turtled up and mauled our push so that now we only have two tanks left over there all right easiest way to improve your win rate guys that's all i've got we'll see you